Hey crochet friends, I'm Tiffany and welcome to my channel. Today we are making these vintage stocking ornaments. So all that you need is some medium weight size 4 yarn. So I'm going to use this Christmas colored yarn. And then you need a 5.25 millimeter crochet hook. You need a pair of scissors and a sewing needle. So grab all that and we will get started. You're going to start with a slip knot. And this is how I lay my yarn. And then I'm going to pinch the bottom with my thumb and pointer and the top with my middle and ring finger. Make a heart with your thumb and pointer. Go underneath that loop and out the top and then turn just your right hand facing down and then turn both of your hands together. Grab this yarn and then pull away from each other and that yarn will fall off and then we'll turn into your slip knot. Let's put your crochet hook through it and pull on these two strands of yarn. Just don't make it too snug. And then you're going to start by chaining four. So put the hook in front of the yarn, wrap it around and go through the loop that's on the hook. And then just do that three more times. And then you're going to find that first chain and do a slip stitch. So go underneath one of the loops, grab that yarn, pull up a loop and pull that loop directly through the next loop. And this is how you make an alternative magic ring. So there's a hole in the middle and that's what you're going to go into with your next stitches for the first round. So you're going to start by chaining five. So wrap the yarn around and go through the loop and then do that four more times. And now you're going to do three double crochets into this magic ring. So wrap the yarn around, go down into that space in the middle, grab the yarn, pull up a loop, you have three loops on your hook. Wrap the yarn around and pull through the first two. And then wrap the yarn around and pull through the next two. Do that two more times. So wrap the yarn around, go inside the middle, grab that yarn, pull up a loop. There's three loops. Wrap the yarn around, pull through the first two. And then wrap the yarn around and pull through the next two. And now you're going to chain three. And you're going to repeat the three double crochets, chain three, two more times. So wrap the yarn around, go inside that same space, and do three double crochets. There's one. two, and three, and then chain three, one, two, three, and then repeat that again. So three double crochets, chain three. Okay, so now you're going to do two double crochets into this space. So you're going to count up three chains and in that third chain you're going to do your slip stitch. So grab that yarn, pull up a loop and pull that loop through the next loop. So it kind of looks like you have three double crochets in the same space. So you're going to go into this corner space and do another slip stitch. So grab the yarn, pull up a loop, and pull that loop through the next loop. To do round two, we're going to chain five again. And 
So we're gonna do three double crochets down into this corner space. So wrap the yarn around, go into the big space, and put your three double crochets. Now you're gonna chain one, so wrap the yarn around, and you're gonna go all the way over to this corner space and do three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. So wrap the yarn around and just go all the way over here and do your three double crochets. Chain three and do three more double crochets in that same corner. Okay, now you're going to chain one and you're going to repeat that two more times. So three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets over in this corner space, chain one, and then do three double crochets chain three, three double crochets in this corner space, and then chain one. So I've already chained one. I'm gonna go directly over into this corner space and start my double crochets. Okay, so after that third corner, you're gonna chain one, and you're gonna do two double crochets over in the beginning corner space, right in that space right there. So just do two double crochets. So you're gonna count up three chains, go into that third chain, do a slip stitch, so grab the yarn, pull through and pull that loop through the next. And then you're gonna go into that corner space and do another slip stitch because that's where we always want to be when we start our rounds. So start by chaining five. One, two, three, four. And in that first corner space, you're gonna do your three double crochets. Then you're gonna chain one, and now we have a middle space. So you're gonna go into that and do three double crochets. Now chain one, and you're gonna do your three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets into this corner space. And you're gonna repeat that one more time. So chain one, find that middle space, do your three double crochets. And then chain one and do your corner space with the three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. Okay, so after your corner, you're gonna chain one and now in this middle space, you're gonna do six double crochets. Now you're going to chain one and do six more double crochets in the same exact middle space. Okay, and now you're gonna chain one and do your three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets in that corner space. Okay, then you're gonna chain one and you're gonna do those three double crochets in the middle space of your last side. And then you're gonna chain one and do two double crochets in that beginning corner space, so just two, and 
So count up your three chains and do your slip stitch and then do your slip stitch into that corner space. Now I'm going to weave in my tail. This is when you should do it before you fold this and seam it up. You're going to fold it back on itself and then you're going to turn it towards the right. You're going to find the first group of three double crochets, go underneath the first double crochet. And then you're going to find the back and there's that corner space you're going to find three double crochets as well. So right here is my first one. I'm going to go into it. And we're just going to do single crochets. So grab that yarn. Whoops. So grab the yarn, pull it through. You have two loops on your hook, wrap the yarn around and pull through both of those loops. And you're going to do this all the way down. So go into the next double crochet. And then you're going to find that middle double crochet. Grab the yarn, pull up a loop, wrap the yarn around and pull through both of those loops. Find your third double crochet, the third one on the back. Grab the yarn, pull up a loop, wrap the yarn around, pull through those two loops. And now on these chain one spaces, you're going to go through both of the spaces. And then grab your yarn, pull up a loop, wrap the yarn around, pull through those two loops. And so just match up all of your double crochets, all your chain one spaces, and I will meet you at the corner. Instead of one, put two there. So it just helps you get around that curve of the stocking. And then continue with your double crochets. And now you should have the six double crochets, a chain one, six double crochets for that point of the stocking. So you're going to go into all of them except for that chain one on the point. So you'll have six single crochets right here to do. It should work out if you've matched it up, if you matched it up correctly. Now give yourself enough to weave in. So I'm going to weave this in off camera. So start by making a slip knot again. I'm going to make a faster one just for the video. Then you're going to find your first single crochet. So go right underneath it and you're going to attach your slip knot. And then pull through. And now you're going to chain 20. So wrap the yarn around, go through the loop. And then just do that 20 times. And then you're going to go down to where you attached your slip knot. So that first single crochet, you're going to go back into it. So from the front, out the back, grab that yarn and you're going to do a slip stitch just to attach the chains. Now pull in your yarn, cut it off and then weave this in really well. And there you have your very own vintage stocking ornament. So don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and all those good things. And tag me on Facebook or Instagram if you make these. I would love to see how yours turn out. And have fun crocheting these vintage stocking ornaments. Bye crochet friends.